Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. This is another quick tip video. Today I'm in Luminar Neo. I've got a single exposure. It looks like that. It's, you know, it's a fine exposure. It's not, it's not bad. It's not great, but I really want to give it some pop. And the best way to give it some pop, I think, in Neo is to come over here and drag that single exposure into HDR Merge. It just really does things for you. And um, I just like what it does. So I've now got this image, which is, I think, looking better more balanced light. It's, you know, it's been tone map, so it just looks better. And now I come in and I do a little bit with develop, maybe a little contrast, put on the highlights, maybe a little shadows, maybe a little bit bluer overall, maybe a little bit of tint, maybe a little bit of vibrance. And I quickly get a pretty nice looking photo. I might hit it with a little golden hour just to pop some of that. And now it's pretty saturated, but I kind of like my color if you've been here before and you know that. And that's what I'm doing. Like, the base photo was a little bit blah. This one looks better as the base HDR. And now with, honestly, I mean, how long is that? A minute or something? And bam, I've got a much better looking photo. Now I can go and refine some things and that's what I would do, but I'm using HDR Merge on single exposures a whole lot and I like it. Let me show you one more. I've got this photo, which, you know, honestly, kind of boring. I mean, I like the location and all that, but the shot's not that particularly great, and the light needs some work, the sky's kind of flat, all that kind of stuff. And again, that's where HDR Merge comes in handy, because now that it's done this tone mapping on a single exposure, it just looks a lot better. I mean, it needs to be straightened, so let me go in here and do that real quick. Get this photo a little straighter. I think that looks good. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of develop and you know, same kind of thing, just kind of balancing the light. I think I'm actually gonna go a little bit cooler here, maybe a little bit more vibrance. And I think here I might actually use a little accent AI just to give it a little bit of a bump there. Maybe a tiny bit of structure AI because you know, it is a city shot, so structure looks good. And how about a quick vignette? You know, why not? We're, uh, we're over here, we're just having fun and straight down the center I think is fine. And there you go. I mean, quickly I was able to take a photo that was kind of flat and kind of boring, give it a nice bit of pop with HDR Merge, and then with a few filters, quick and easy here in the Edit tab, just bam, took it from that to that. But it all comes down to that HDR Merge in the beginning where it's giving me that nice little pop. So if you've got a photo and you can't really figure out what you want to do with it, it's kind of flat, it's kind of lacking a little bit of oomph and you want to give it a quick pop, Throw it into HDR Merge, come hit it with a few filters, and I think you'll be happy with the result. That's it for this quick tip. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Adios.